saying hi Gemini, this is Baby Boss Tarot. Okay, Gems, uh, with the competition that I had going on, you were literally level pegging with Aries the whole step of the way. Um, I did Aries yesterday because I decided you're both winners, as you are. <laughs> Gemini and Aries are a power couple. So, Gems, with this reading, uh, we'll be getting into a lot. Um, it cannot or will not resonate with each and every one of you. Please do not force it to fit if it is not your story. Okay, let's get into your reading, my loves. Gemini, let's get into your energy right now. The angels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please give me true messages and honest messages for the lovely Geminis. Okay, so Gems, you could be feeling a bit left out in the cold right now. You're feeling on your own. The Five of Pentacles, you could be dealing with um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but you also have the, the Ace of Wands, so you, it's all about passion, it's all about new beginnings, creative ideas. It almost feels like that you're, you're struggling to get a new idea off the ground. You could be needing finances to do this. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sag. Okay, there's a beautiful butterfly. You're ready, Gemini. You're ready for this new beginning. This is your energy that you're in right now. Oh, beautiful. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Two of Cups. This is your soulmate, your twin flame. That you want to rush towards. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or it could be another Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But there's guarded energy, defensive energy. Could be from somebody from your past that you have nice memories with. You know, again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Got everyone out here now. Of course, these are just energies that we are dealing with. Turn in a child out. We've got two children playing here. You're remembering. This is somebody from your childhood, Gemini. Someone you have fond memories of. Could even be a sibling thing. But I like this for you. This is beautiful energy for you. This is your one and only. This is two two souls connecting for a brand new beginning. Alright. Let's see who you're going to be dealing with, Gemini. Who is in your energy? Who is in Gemini's energy? I'm sorry for the noise. My little one was just sick. Moon in the reverse. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer. The moon rules Cancer. But also... Uh, this could be um, a secret coming out. You might be wanting to express to someone or someone's trying to express emotions to you. This could be somebody who has water in their Pluto placement. Who's in the energy of Gemini, please? Who's in Gemini's energy right now, please? There seems to be blocked energy between you and another air sign. Or this could be you blocking Gemini. You could be blocking yourself. Blocking your blessings. We want to turn this in the upright, my loves. Water energy. Okay, so you could have a lot of water in the chart. You could be feeling very emotional right now. Or you're dealing with someone who could be a water sign with air in their chart and they're feeling blocked. Someone's blocking their psychic gifts, their intuitive gifts. I'm feeling that this is you, Gemini. You are highly intuitive, but you're shielding yourself from this, these gifts. Because you've gotten this one there. The crown chakra. That heart is in the wrong place, but... Your heart chakra is covered up, Gemini. I feel like you need to open up a little bit. What's the secret that's going to come out? I wonder. I just need to get a clarifier here. Let me get a clarifier for the moon in reverse. What is the secret that's going to come out? Possibly from a Pisces or a Cancer, but it doesn't have to be. This could be you. Cleanse. Okay, you might need to have a spiritual bath or you need to cleanse yourself. If you don't know how to do this, you can seek guidance from... Um, if someone in your own family, or you can do this by going to um, a psychic medium. Someone who's intuitive can help you here. 
that the, the truth's going to come out that you need to cleanse, need, needing to heal, clear up those um, chakras of yours. Oops. <laughs> My apologies, did not mean to do that. I'm sorry because I've got the card laid out here because we're doing a big reading. My sincere apologies there. Okay, let's get the energy of the person that you are actually dealing with. Can you give me the energy of the person Gemini is dealing with? What is their energy? What is crossing them is the Two of Wands. It kind of feels like that they had a plan in mind for you two, but it's not quite coming together. Could be dealing with a Nose Leo or a Sag. What is the energy of the person Gemini is currently dealing with? Ace of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's plan backfired. What is this plan about? Could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio. In the upright, this is marriage, this is proposals, it's new beginnings. Could be the birth of a baby or the conception of a baby, but this is in the reverse. Somebody's plan didn't come to fruition. Someone wanted this with you. The person in your energy, they wanted marriage, they wanted stability, they wanted a child with you. But it's in the reverse, it's not happened. If this was a miscarriage, um, my, my dearest sympathies for you. But if this person was trying to trap you with a baby, it completely backfired. Geminis, you are very smart, you cannot scam a Gemini, you may have caught on to this energy. Or somebody told you with the eight of ones here, somebody could have told you, um, this feels like karmic energy, sorry to say. <clears throat> yeah, somebody possibly already warned you, you could have got a tarot reading on this person in your energy. Or you went to a tarot reader or a psychic medium and they told you, you know, what the truth was. Okay. Uh, let's get some clarifiers here. Which I need to know right now? You have the determination to move forward, Gemini. You're hungry for something. This is that goal. This is that passionate new beginning that you're after. This big idea. Yeah, and you've got your intuitions coming out. You, you are. You've got your spiritual. I've just had reawakening. You've re, reawoken your intuition. You're now hungry and determined to go after what you want. You're angry. Why are you angry? Your third eye is open. You're angry. Why are you angry, my loves? Uh, we've now got the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Something's not quite coming together. Something that's not quite passionate for you. You have the determ determination and the hunger to turn this in the upright. Use your intuition. You're angry that it's not... It's, I'm feeling actually impatient rather than anger. Knight of Cups. You want to offer your, your love to somebody. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But someone is confusing the hell out of you. Either that or you're, you've got options right now and you're trying to figure out who deserves your cup of love. Gemini, you are worthy of love and the right person deserves your love. Remember that. Scorpio energy, death. An ending needs to happen for you to have a new beginning. You will get truth and clarity over a matter. Why is he at the sword here? Truth and clarity and a victory, possibly from a Scorpio. <clears throat> when you're making your choice between whoever it is that you're wanting, the one that is meant for you will come with truth and clarity and you will get a victory. Then you'll be able to turn this one upside down. All right, let's get you some advice from the spirit animals. <clears throat> what 
What advice for Gemini, please? What a few. Okay, so you've got pig spirit, so use your mind wisely. Yep, you are known to be uh, the most intelligent sign of the zodiac, and you are very smart, you are very intelligent. You've got elephant spirit, so learn from the past. So what you've learnt from the past, <coughs> your throat chakra, my, my apologies. What you've learnt from the past, just take that with you into the new relationship. Don't bring the past into a new relationship. Take what you've learnt from that. You've got spider spirit, so make your dreams real. You may be getting some psychic downloads and truth and clarity in the 5D when you've been out astral travelling. Frog spirit, so clear out the cutter. Cutter? Why did I say cutter? You may be cutting somebody off. You've got to clear out the clutter. You could be moving. The number 28 could be significant to you. I'm seeing a sticky ball. Someone playing with a sticky ball. Hmm. Gemini, you've got some really kind of weird energy right now. Alright, let's get something from the three romance angels. Get something from the romance angels, please. This may not be an hour long read, guys, because it's draining the energy of my firstborn. Alright, Gemini. Beautiful energy, you've got new love. So a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And that you deserve love, you are lovable, and that's what I've told you already, Gems. You are lovable, okay? You will get to that goal, you will get that Ace of Wands and that Ace of Cups in the upright. Alright. Right, let's do you versus all signs. Alright, Gemini, if you're dealing with an Aries... You're dealing with an Aries. If you're walking away from an Aries, um, you're very guarded and defensive towards them. Although they're walking away from you, they're very guarded and defensive. Either that, or you're walking towards them and trying to break down their defences, or they're doing this to you, walking towards you, breaking down the defences. Alright, if you're dealing with a Taurus... <clears throat> Okay, there are some secrets here over a betrayal. Okay, what is the betrayal, please? I've just heard this is the ultimate betrayal. Somebody moved on with a child. Somebody moved on calmly with a child, and that's a betrayal. Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon, please. That Gemini dealing with the Taurus. This Taurus doesn't want to talk, Gemini. What is the moon, please? Okay. What they were hiding is that they moved on. They offered their cup of love to someone else. Now, there could be a child here involved. Now, it could be your child. <coughs> it could be their child. They are in a teenager, is that? That's weird. Right, if you're dealing with another Gemini, deadly combination, two Geminis together. Okay, the Gemini is spying on you. They're trying to check whether or not you are single. They could possibly see you as the Empress, or um, they're dealing with a baby mother, a Libra or a Taurus. They're going to come in with an offer of love, but it's an immature offer. Expect passionate messages from them. They want to look after you. They're very loving, kind, nurturing and caring. They want to take care of you. They see you as a soulmate, wanting a new beginning. Um, and they are going to defend and to p protect your relationship. I don't like the spying energy, though. Right, if you're dealing with a cancer, if you're dealing with a cancer, you two are going to have a passionate new beginning. Okay, you're each other's wish fulfillment, and you two could have broken up before because you are you are both healing from a breakup. But you're going to have a passionate new beginning with a cancer. Could also be an Aquarius in, in the mix here, but it doesn't have to be. 
all right this looks beautiful for you either that or you two are going to have nikki one last time heal from it and then move on oh i've just heard the most dirtiest thing <laughs> somebody's going to need a wheelchair by morning <laughs> after the ace of wands all right if you're dealing with a leo gemini dealing with a leo Leo seems very guarded and defensive. They do, they're very much in love with you, Gemini, and they're trying to find the strength and the courage. Or this person is seriously in their ego right now. They've got a huge ego, and it feels like they're, they've either got a choice between you and someone else, or they're determined to get you because you are their soulmate in their eyes. And they're gonna, um, you might be defensive towards them. Alright, if you're dealing with a Virgo, Gemini dealing with a Virgo, this person could be highly intuitive, or they're hiding secrets from you. Oh no, this person is highly intuitive, wow. The High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. There's a lot of emotions here, but we've got the Three of Swords here and the Four of Pentacles. So one of you is holding back after a third party situation or a heartbreak. This could be what... Uh, this high priestess is hiding from you. It could be a Libra that they were dealing with, that they're holding back from, holding finances back from. Alright, if you're dealing with a Libra, Gemini dealing with a Libra Tower. Tower and the Lovers. Oh, this, this foundation, if you're in a relationship with a Libra, this foundation is about to shake. They're either coming towards you with a lot of love, very deep, satisfactory love, and you're not going to see this coming, or otherwise this is a major breakup, and they're going towards their twin flame. It's something you're not going to see coming. Right, Gemini dealing with a Scorpio. Wow, you've got the same energy as Virgo. Okay, Scorpio and Virgo. There seems to be a weird kind of third party here. I did mention third party in with you dealing with a Virgo, we've got the same cards come out. Someone who's highly intuitive, but hiding hiding so many emotions, hiding the secret. Give me a bit more on this for Gemini dealing with a Scorpio. <clears throat> You're going to find out some truth and clarity and end up having a victory. It could be about a third party. I am feeling that there's something going on between a Virgo and a Scorpio because the same cards have come out. You will get truth and clarity about the situation, about the heartbreak, about the third party, and you will get a victory. Gemini's, you need to rest, my darlings. Alright, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Gemini dealing with a Sagittarius. Wish fulfillment. Okay, you're their wish fulfillment, either that. Or they're, they're drinking a lot. They want to celebrate with you. Have a big old massive party. Give me more. You're dealing with a Sagittarius. Now we've got a bit more clarity. Okay. What their wish fulfillment is. Could be to breadcrumb you. To close out the cycle with you. Because you're all up in their thoughts. They're not sleeping at night over this. You could have had an ending with this person. You're still their wish fulfillment. Um, but there is a hell of a lot of distance between you two. They could feel like you're giving to somebody else. Um, yeah, they're, re they're really anxious and depressed over you. They're drinking heavily. This person is. Sorry to say that. Uh, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, a secret has come to light. What is the secret that has come to light about a Capricorn? They could have been married. They could have been living with somebody and already in a long-term relationship with someone. You could have just found out about a Capricorn. But it's not a stable foundation. They're living with someone. They could be married to someone. They have family with someone. This is the Ten of Cups in the reverse. This is not a happy foundation. Okay, so if there was something going on between you and a Capricorn, this has been found out by this person's spouse, 
um, they're now paying for it. They could have just lost their family, could have lost everything. Very secretive energy there. All right, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. Again, we have wish fulfillment here. But someone's not exactly healing after a heartbreak, after an ending with somebody from their past. Somebody's a bit emotionally codependent. Again, the secret has come out. Somebody is trying to block their intuition. And somebody is um, not letting go of you, Gemini. This person is not going to let go of you. No. They're coming back around. This person wants to reconcile because they're not over you. You are their wish fulfillment. No. Lastly, Gemini dealing with a Pisces. No. Yeah, <laughs> they feel rejected by you, they're very sad and regretful, and um, they're basically seeing if they come near you right now, you may just chop their head off, they know that you're not going to take any bullshit off of them, what is it that they've done to be regretful, what is it Pisces have done to be regretful, moving too slowly, oh, love situation, they were moving too slowly, either that or they, f they felt like your relationship was moving too slowly, they feel like you're you're the missed opportunity. Yeah. Oh, the page of cups. This person really wanted to offer you something. A bit more on this case. A bit more. Why is that juggling? This person could have been at a long distance from you. Um, there's juggling energy here, but why is the two of pentacles here? I have two of pentacles here. They could have already been in a commitment with somebody else. And it was a very passionate commitment that they were in. <clears throat> Either that or this is what they wanted with you. And you're the missed opportunity. They want a commitment with you. They wanted to marry you. They wanted a brand new beginning. They wanted to defend this. But there's, there's just too much distance in the way. The one of you may have ghosted the other. That's kind of what I'm feeling now. All right, Gems, let's just get you some messages from the postcards, and I'm going to have to close out this read. You know what? I need, I need to get Firstborn to pick those for me. Thank you, darling. Right, okay, Gemini. <clears throat> you've got dearest you did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now miracles start to happen there is a freedom in the kind of radical acceptance let go of un unrealistic expectations and see things as they really are not how you'd like them to be you'll be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place when you refuse to accept things life gets messy you act messy and your world stays in chaos, tension and disarray. But don't try to force a change or manipulate circumstances. Instead, learn about what it is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully open. Then you can decide, stay or go, sink or swim, move or stay still. Acceptance is the key to freedom and opens the door to the real opportunities waiting to be discovered. Set yourself and others free. The second postcard, picked by my firstborn. Dearest you, miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see so many moments of synchronicities. Sorry, I know it says synchronicities, but I'm English. So synchronicity, when all is the, when all the right people, the right place, the right opportunities and the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come, who will deliver them, when they will show up, and what, and what they will do for you. Sorry, I kept hearing divine timing. It's all in divine timing. All of that is our department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. 
you are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. You're a brilliant manifester, Gemini. I'm just adding that in because you are a brilliant manifester. You're the magician. That would be a good mantra for you today. Work on it and relax. Okay, Gemini, I am going to leave your reading there. Okay, if any of this resonated, please like, share, subscribe, and leave your comment down below. Okay, good night, my love bugs.